hello everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to install active directory on scom dc1 on this server scom dc1 okay so open server manager from taskbar actually it will take little bit of time everything we can we can configure from server manager okay so it is up now let's this scroll scroll ribbon should stop otherwise it will hang okay so everything is fine now you can click on manage and add rules and features okay click on next role based feature next and we have only this one computer so we can just choose this one and click next and here active directory domain services we have to choose this one and click on add features okay click on next and you can again click on next next and then click on install so it will install the role but uh, after that we have to configure the domain controller like what is the domain name and dns and other things that is a post work so i will skip the video so you can see this is export configuration setting so this is actually the export configuration this is a powershell script xml so in the next time you, if you want to like you can see here export configuration setting and installation selection okay so usage in window powershell so we can use powershell command to um, run this unattended uh, installation okay so this is installed now installation succeeded click on close and here you can see this flag under flag this is a exclamatory sign so if you click over there it's a post deployment configuration okay promote this server to a domain controller click over there and here is the configuration we have to put so add a domain controller to an existing domain but we are going to create a new forest okay so click on new forest the root domain name should be anything so i am going to use smartlab.com or go with this dot in click on next so for this function label we have to put it uh, by default uh, everything should be default so password is dsrm password means directory service restore mode provide your password click on next and uh, a delegation of this dns server cannot be created because this is the first dns server so you can just click on next it is checking the net bios name is there any duplication or something so yeah, everything is fine click on next and the path where we have to store these database folder and log files or folder so everything should be default for now actually we are not going to change anything over here okay now all prerequisite check pass successfully so nothing we have to worry about so click on install and here it will take uh, some 10 to 20 minutes depends upon the 
configuration like uh, how much ram or disk do you have are you using the uh, ssd or solid drive or hard disk okay so again i am going to skip the video and i will be back once it is done okay so you can see uh, our installation has been completed so it's it is showing need to sign off so it is going to restart the server now and once server is restarted the domain name that we have put on the front on the desktop it will going to change from work group to smart lab dot in actually this time it will take some time because it is promoted to domain controller now so it will apply some group policies and other thing on the domain controller so we give some time actually while after active directory installation uh, after every time it is restarted or whenever you are, you have just restart uh, started your vm so first please pro give some time to set up everything and then please start your work okay so we are on login screen right control delete provide the password okay so again you can see that machine domain is work group as i said so we need to extract first so it will okay just click ok it will change ok now machine domain is smart lab so we have successfully promoted this scom dc1 server to domain controller ok now we have to join the other computers means virtual machine to this domain ok for that we have done the those configuration in network setting uh, network configuration part so now we have to just go to properties and now we will change the computer name and other domain setting over here so for that we need to just extract this so when we will log into the computer it will show the new configuration okay so computer name if this is a sql we are going to install sql on this server so the computer name is sql and domain name is you can put smart lab hit ok it will ask for credential okay so credential is administrator and the password is the same now every time you join to the domain controller it will reboot your system okay so meanwhile we can do the same thing on scom server right click go to properties change setting and then this is scom server and domain is smart lab okay admin is data so actually we have provided the dns ip address of this scom dc1 ip so if you, if you have not configured that dns uh, in dns ip configuration um, explorer then you will get some error okay so you can just go uh, go to that internet ip setting and you can check like what you have provided so if you 
come to this SQL server so now you can see welcome to smart lab domain click ok ok and restart and same thing with this one so before restarting this is com server again we can extract this bg info actually i'm not sure like uh, it will work after uh, uh, extracting this so uh, once i will just going to run it once time so it it know where is the file so now we are going to restart it okay I am on SQL Server login screen. So here you can see that we are going to log into the local dom local uh, computer SQL Server, but now we have added this server to SQL Server to our domain so we can log in with the domain so we can write smart labs slash administrator and then the password so it will take some time because uh, it is a new user that is of domain user So it will again set up the uh, desktop settings and others so you might not see that uh, uh, bg info okay so on sq scom server we are also able to see the login screen now again we can login with domain user okay so recycle bin on say is corrupted do you want to input a so again you will see this server manager pop up actually the that setting for uh, local administrator so again we have to change the setting okay meanwhile we can run that bg info we can also add logon domain means we have logged in by domain or local position is top right corner okay so we can change the setting for server manager okay so you can see machine domain is smart lab and login with smart lab so if we sign out and sign in as a other user means locally so it should change So if we add this logon domain 
click on ok so you can see login domain is sql server okay and machine domain is smart lab but i have logged in as a sql server means i have logged in locally so if i sign out and login as a smart lab user okay so now host name is sql server ip address is this and machine domain is smart lab and login domain is also smart lab do the same thing with scom dc1 uh, sorry scom server1 so go to manage and server properties you can close this one go to c column bg info 64 bit agree control a first is host name ip address machine domain and logon domain okay forward to set the position okay fine so we are on smart lab login domain is smart lab host name is scom server so everything is fine now we have added this to domain now our next step is we are going to install sql on this sql server thanks for watching bye everyone